Greetings, YouTube. You know, as somebody who is a YouTube content creator, I, of course, like to think I know something about this game, and so I try my best to prove every time I make a video that I have enough credibility to at least give you some advice. I've been playing this game for two years, as I sometimes joke. Uh, this is a longer commitment than a lot of my past romantic relationships, which again may say more about my uh, luck in romantic relationships than it does in a mobile video game. But regardless, I, uh, I play this game every day. I really still enjoy it, and I want to help you, the viewer, out as much as possible. But every once in a while, there comes a point where I'm just kind of stuck in my own little dilemma, and I need to seek your advice, the viewer, to help me. And today is one of those days because I am almost to the point where I can rank up to rank four, another one of my five-star champions, and I am just stuck, quite frankly, between two champions. It's the biggest first world problem ever because I love both of these champions so much. Now, a little bit of a preface, if you will. I uh, currently, as an attack team, use the Holy Triumvirate of Stark Spidey and Ghost Ridey. Unfortunately, uh, Ghost Ridey? Did I really just say that? Wow, uh, that would be the Nicolas Cage version of Ghost Rider, I guess, since he really sucks. Um, okay, let's try this again. The Holy Triumvirate of Ghost Rider and Stark Spidey. Unfortunately, they are only four stars, and so even though they're rank five and their max sig is 99, I really need them as five stars to maximize the ability to uh, wreck people. And then I do, of course, have a five-star blade that is max rank five as a five-star. And then my other two champions that I use, I use Iceman, and he is a rank four five-star, as you can see. And then I kind of filter out and rotate depending on who I'm fighting for the fifth option. Now, I still mostly bring Star-Lord because even though he's not the number one champ like he was, say, even uh, a year ago, he still wrecks people. I prefer to play with Star-Lord over Stark Spidey in so many situations because I don't have to worry about building up poise charges to cause insane damage. I just parry, get a great combo in, and uh, you know, easy game, easy life, as they say. But uh, today, I have a choice, right? I've got to figure out. And the first is between Gwynpool as that Star-Lord spot as the fifth. We all know, at least the ones that have played this game for a while, how great Gwynpool is, right? I have maxed out deep wounds. So Gwynpool with maxed out deep wounds to cause the bleed, and then you get some RNG luck, and suddenly you're causing stun. And then I have been blessed enough to awaken my Gwynpool, and so uh, she has a 70.37% chance, uh, excuse me, I don't, I am in my office in the morning, and I sound like I'm on drugs. I hope students don't walk by right now. But uh, as you can see, not chance, uh, she can't lose uh, more than 70% of her current health per hit. Now, 70% is still a lot of percent. I'd like to get this uh, percent up a little bit. But regardless, she is a god tier champ, somebody that uh, is so great with everything from heavies to specials and uh, just, uh, just one of the best champions of the game. So I could bring Gwynpool up to rank 4, but if I don't, then I could strongly consider uh, bringing up the hype man, Hyperion himself, who also is a god tier champ. And the thing about him is he has some synergy bonuses with my current attacking roster that Gwynpool does not. So part of me is leaning towards Hyperion, but then part of me is going to feel like I'm going to instantly regret doing that. And because we can't ever really count on rank down tickets to come back in the game, it's not like if I make a mistake, I can get those tier two alphas back anytime soon. So this is where you come in. I just really need to know, like if you were in my position, biggest first world problem ever, only have enough uh, items to rank for a Hyperion or a Gwynpool, what would you do? So pretend like you were in uh, Prof Hoff's size 16 shoes for the sake of argument and uh, tell me what you'd think and why. And I, I just really appreciate your feedback. Really, the whole purpose of this video is to just say, I need your help. I need to figure out uh, who to rank up among those two. And again, I'm certainly thankful and in a very advantageous position to be able to be in a, in a place where I can rank one of these great champions up. But now I just got, I don't want to make a mistake. These, these items are still too rare 
and too valuable to make a mistake. So thank you for your input in advance as I am recording this, of course, before I post it on YouTube. And I just want to say, as always, I appreciate the likes and the comments and even uh, the healthy disagreements. And, and I've learned so much when you said, hey, I think your argument's okay, but here's why I think uh, maybe you've missed something. I, I learn a lot from that. And I, I think the day that you aren't able to take constructive criticism as a YouTuber is the day where you really need to examine your life. So uh, thanks. If you haven't subscribed, I always appreciate the, the subscription. And I just uh, I just want to make the right choice. So uh, best of luck for you in the game. And in advance, again, thanks for your advice on my own current dilemma. Biggest first world problem ever, but it's a problem nonetheless.